Hey YouTube, what's up? So today we are continuing on with the Inazuma Festival, seeing all of our favorite characters together in one place. I read a post earlier today that it feels like a fever dream having all these characters together, and it so does. Like, you don't even really know what to do with yourself. You're just here for the good times and the vibes. So we are going to be getting back into that today. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we can get started with the the next act of our Legends of Kassen. Very fun. A cargo ship arriving in Rito brings with it a friend you haven't met in a while. The mysterious poetic manuscript is also taking the story into unknown waters. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. I'm down with it. Let's go. Let's go meet our our friend that we haven't seen in a while. Yeah, what's the the Nope, that's not it. Arrival schedule. So, we did Bards from Mondstadt, I guess Painter Calc, so Albedo, yes, and Klee. And then large passenger ship calligraphers, painters from Liyue, theater mechanicus players, and guest writers Genyu, so Xing Cho. And Venti is around here somewhere, chilling, hanging out, getting drunk on on wine and sake. Uh third day of the festival. So this is the one that we're doing. Uh, shipping guests, large cargo ship, stopover, one person. Estimated time arrival, 9 a.m. The day following the release event, small passenger ship, two persons. Hmm. So it's a cargo ship, one person. Okay, we haven't seen this person in a while. I'm going to say Zhang Li. I was kind of expecting him... To be on the Leo ship, but interesting enough. Uh, yeah. You've now arrived at the magnificent Iridori Festival event venue. Nice. You have now arrived at the magnificent Iridori Festival event venue. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Like a little little convention. Wow, they they really stuck with these these signs, didn't they? I think our, these are actually from the books and not from just Yai and A, just around. Uh, I think they're the pretty please Kitsune 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 Guji and the other the Raiden one. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. That's a little weird. That's a that's a little weird. So we'll we'll Kazuha! Honey! What are you doing? Oh Hey! Hey honey! Oh Look! That figure on the wharf! It looks like Kazuha! It is! Did, did you did you come to hang out? What? Can can we lean down too? What 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 are you looking at? The the water is awfully blue. A touch on the ocean breeze. Uh, what would? A soft dandelion. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Beto, I'm trying to make a haiku. I I don't know how to make a haiku. The, the, the leaf on this water surface, transcendent, effervescent, floating. Okay, Beto is drinking beside me. All right, let's, let's, let's just, let's just talk to him. Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. I heard there would be guides for the Iridori Festival, but I didn't expect it would be you two. <laughs> uh, 
I know, a welcome surprise, as always, Kazuha. I know, uh... I'm sure it's a pleasant surprise for you. Being blessed by our presence and having yours as well. Hi, honey, how are you doing? <laughs> we didn't expect to see you either. Returning as a guest for the Iridori Festival, no doubt. I was a little surprised myself when I received the invitation. But after wandering the outside world for so long, it's good to have an opportunity to return to my homeland and pay respects to my old friends. Nice! Yeah, you've been traveling, hanging out? Yeah, I feel like Kazuha is from Rito. Even though it really doesn't say where, where from Inazuma he's from in his stories, history, etc. It, it just seems like he's from Rito. I mean, the maple leaf, all the trees, they are very similar in their styles and appearance, so. Kazuha, when we saw you in the distance just now, you seemed to be looking for something. What happened? Ah, yes. You see, when I came off the boat with everyone just now, I suddenly heard light footsteps around me. Hmm. I could tell they were not footsteps of a regular passenger. But by the time I turned around, the person had already disappeared. I only heard a splash come from below the pier. Oh, <laughs> kind of creepy. Uh, Sayu? I don't know why Sayu would be around Kazuha. Even though I didn't manage to catch a glimpse of them, I found this strange piece of paper by my feet. Oh, okay. Th this is the person that is leaving the little, the, the summaries of the five Kasen. If they even got around Kazuha, who is as swift as the wind, they must be a pretty impressive person. Oh, does the paper happen to have a poem written on it? Huh. How did you know? You tell Kazuha all that's happened over the last few days. Fascinating. It's almost hard to believe such things could happen. Kazuha, could you show that piece of paper to us? Sure. Here it is. Please, have a look. Thank you. Thank you, honey. The five costs in splendor, Akahito. Long have I been famed, and since my youth I had great ambition. I stamped every new verse with a scarlet seal, and thus I was known to all. But last year, when we presented our verses, mine was found to be taken from poets past. For the theft... For the theft and deception, I was banished into the wilderness. The five radiant lights n never shall be again. Ah, uh, how the tides do shift. Hmm. Last time, Aoi no Okina's poem ended with a reference to Akahito. And sure enough, this is a story about him. The story this time basically says that Akahito got his name from his love of red seals. However, the Shogun discovered that he had committed plagiarism, and he was soon exiled. Well, if Paimon were to rate today's story, it sounds pretty unfortunate. Well, the other stories weren't much better either. Yeah, ki all kind of just depressing. Well... Yeah, I mean, even the beginning one, they got drunk and... lost what they were supposed to give to the Shogun, too, so... I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with this story. I, too, was once wanted as a criminal by the Shogunate. So I'm not all that different from Akahito mentioned in this story. Kazuha is probably going to be the model for for the Akahito. Just kind of the pattern, the person that gets the poem or picks it up becomes the, the model. But according to the story, Akihito was exiled by the Shogun because of his wrongdoings. You did nothing wrong, Kazuha. Huh? Traveler, what are you thinking about? The seal mentioned in the story... Maybe it can help Shincho. The seal. Oh, with the... Oh, with his... Oh, penmanship. The His signatures. Oh, yeah, if he just does a seal instead? Ah, by the way, you mentioned that your friend has been struggling because he's unable to sign his name quickly, right? Yep. In Liyue and Inazuma, there is a saying... 
that which has been stamped has also been signed. Perhaps using a seal could be a feasible solution. Mm hmm. That's true. I hear that in in other places like around the world, sometimes they'll have their like own signature stamps and that is used instead of their signature, which is cool. Seems seems similar to this. Yeah, could be a, a solution. While sailing at sea, I sometimes carve things to pass the time. If you wish to create a stamp for his seal, I might be able to help. Wow, that's an idea. Quick, let's go tell Albedo. All right. A new painting in pale scarlet. Nice. All right, now that Kazuha is not here, we can, we can, woo! Time to go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the uh, theater mechanicus. Hey, hello. <laughs> hey, Albedo. Albedo, we figured out a way to help Shincho. You tell Albedo everything that happened with Kazuha. Interesting. The story of the five Kasan appears again, and with a timely solution. A stamped seal, huh? Hmm, let me think. Indeed, it is an efficient solution. If we use a stamp, then Xingxia won't have to struggle with his handwriting anymore. However... Is there another problem? Since Xingqiu's signature has been previously revealed to the readers, it would seem insincere if he only used the stamped seal for his new books. Right. But I have another idea. Using a seal is a part of it, of course. Uh, let's go to Uya restaurant now to discuss my idea with everyone. Okay. Oh, we gotta go quite a ways, don't we? Why can't we go to a restaurant that's closer? Like, do we not have any restaurants in Rito that we can convene at? Is this it for the... I can't imagine them walking back and forth in between Inazuma City and here every time they want to go to a meal. But I guess that's that's where Xing Cho's staying, right? That's what he said. going on looks kind of dead today not a lot a lot not a lot of people going around oh this looks so good this looks so delicious why can't i have some oh wow you guys have really made a, a home for yourself here oh they even got little i can't remember what they're called but those are cute Oh, all the books? Wow! We better read the... Yes, that's it, Chen Yi. Your writing has greatly improved today, which means yesterday's <laughs> intensive training was effective. Oh, poor Xing Cho. My apologies, but I simply can't do it anymore. My hands are so sore that I can't even move them anymore. Oh, I should have known better than to read novels during calligraphy class. <laughs> you just had a ten-minute break. Come on, you can do this. When it comes to pushing a deadline, there's no one more brutal than Mr. Hirayama. Oh, man. No wonder Lady Yai would always send the editorial director to handle troublesome authors. Whoa, this is getting scary. It hasn't even been that long and Shicho's already zombified. <laughs> I read a, a post earlier today that was like, seeing all these characters in the same place is kind of like a fever dream and... It is so right. This is 
always feel so weird and we're, we're just going with the vibes we're going we're going with it hanging out having a good time but it feels just so weird mr hirayama we found a solution that might just solve our dilemma in both liyue and inazuma seals are widely used as the equivalents of a signature if we use a stamp to leave the author's seal on the books then we could make the signature process a lot easier of course a seal on its own is not enough. So, I propose that each signature consists of two parts. Hmm. First, we'll use a personalized seal. We can simply carve one using Chen Yu's signature as the design. In addition, I'll also design a simple but elegant pattern that's easy for Chen Yu to write. That way, he will only need to draw a simple pattern on each book. Hmm, let me think. Good work, Albedo. You done good on this one, honey. He head pads, pat on the back, yeah. All right, I think that would work. Not only does it still involve the author's own handwriting, but the result should be very beautiful as well. So, what you mean to say is, I've been saved from this predicament? You're welcome, Shingcho. Uh, actually, thank Kazuha. Mr. Hiriyama. It suddenly occurred to me that the reason we gave up on live book signings previously was because it would take too long for the author to sign each book. But if we adopted Calx's proposed method, we might have enough time to do signatures at the live event. And if all the authors signed their books in the same fashion, then Gen Yu's signature wouldn't look out of place. Well, if you think it's feasible, I would certainly be happy to design signatures for the other authors as well. Nice! Good job, everybody! Solution! Yes. And you may leave carving the stamps to me. Wow, who's who's leaving all these little hints for us on how to go about this uh, Iridori festival? In that case, I shall contact the other two authors participating in the new release event. Shortly after the two other authors arrive. It is a great honor to use a signature designed by Kelx. My pen name is quite complicated and isn't suitable for signing events. However, if we implement this new format, then it'll be a dream come true for me as well. Oh. Yeah, that 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 is a long long name you got there. Buddy Kaden Ooh, I I I'm going to not butcher that for you, sir. Uh But I understand the trouble. Great. Looks like everyone's on board with the idea. I'm sorry to have kept you busy for so long, Jin Yu. Please, take the next few days to have a good rest. We'll handle everything from here. Nice. The books that Jin Yu already signed can be used as special prizes in future events held by the I Publishing House. <sighs> we did it. The event is saved. Woo! Woo! Thanks to everyone's efforts, Onodera and I are finally free of that mess. <laughs> That's right! You're finally free, Xingqiu! Maybe you should step outside for some fresh air. Oh, every everyone's everyone's still hanging out. What what, what are you guys gonna do? Work on work on getting the everything ready. Is there actually ink in that thing? It's just like a blank a blank page. I better start reading Shing Cho's book soon here. What, what are you guys going to do? Onodera, please inform Lady Ai of the changes in the event planning when you have a moment. She will surely like to hear about our new idea. You're a quick thinker, Onodera. As long as you exercise a little prudence, you'll be able to achieve great things in the future. Uh, got it. Thank you very much, Mr. Hiriyama. I suppose this is all a blessing in disguise, isn't it? I'm sure readers will be thrilled to hear that the release event will also have a book signing. True. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Sorry, lady. Getting a little crazy there. Hmm. We still have some time to burn. Where should we go next? We we should do an activity. Something that we've always wanted to do together in, in, in Azuma. Uh... Uh... Uh, f fishing, uh, f boat ride, could take you to some some crazy places. I, I 
went to this one place that is under this pool in Watatsumi Island. It, it takes you to an underground, like, civilization that's been there for a really long time. It's all abandoned. We met, uh, met in a abyss... Uh, abyss lector there? Oh, it's Venti! Oh, and Traveler, Ayaka! There you are. Oh, what, what are you guys doing together? Kind of interesting. Kind of. Venti, Venti's not holed up in a bar somewhere. Oh, it's Ayaka and Venti. That's an interesting combo. <laughs> you could probably spot any of these people from a mile away. We're gathered in this square. All one, two, three, four, five, six, well, six and a half of us. Everyone's passing by going like, oh, is the circus in town? Why, why are all these people in such strange outfits? They're all gathered together for some some event. I was just going to the festival venue to prepare the Ikebana lesson when I found a strange piece of paper on a flower stand. Oh, another poem? This bar just happened to be close by at the time. He informed me that you've also found similar papers recently. As such, we came together to find you two. But the paper she found isn't quite the same as the ones we found before. Hmm. Here's the paper. Please have a look. The f Five Cost and Splendor Sumizome. I submerged the verses into clear water, and the truth did emerge. So do we have to put the pieces of paper in water? That might be too obvious. Huh. All the poems we found before were roughly the same length. But this one is only two lines. Mm-hmm. And even though there are only two short sentences, <laughs> this neither so of them are next to the title or centered on the page. Hmm. The position of the writing seems to indicate that there is other content written on this paper besides these two lines. Mm hmm If we take the poem literally, it reads, Dip this paper in water and see the truth naturally appear. Right. Speaking of which, I have an ancient text at home specializing in ancient and exotic stories. It mentions a special ink that will show itself when wet and disappear when it's dry. Yeah. Don't mind us. In a zoom in NPCs, it's just the six and a half of us hanging out in this circle in front of Uyu restaurant. <laughs> we, we got quite the outfits, don't we? <laughs> so, shall we give it a whirl? It just so happens that there's a pond nearby. Okay. I'll, I'll bite. Go to the pond. Woo! Uh, no, we'll go back up here. You carefully dip the paper into the water. Wow, look! It's really working! More words have appeared on the paper! Wow, that, that, that's quite a view. Everyone, everyone's hanging out. Oh, we got Kazuha, Albedo, both going the... The, ooh, this looks interesting route. I've got the, ah, oh, I knew it all along, hands on my hips. And Xingqiu, oh, Venti's also there with the hand on the hip going... <laughs> and Xing Cho's like, oh, I just want to sleep after signing so many signatures. <laughs> Ayaka's like, oh, what? 
a hand out. Uh, I, she's dipping the paper in the water. Let Paimon see what it says. Okay, Sumizome. Going over... Going over his poetry, I found that the plagiarized piece did not have his scarlet seal. I submerged the verses into clear water, and the truth did emerge. The true verses were not washed away, but the text of that despicable crime faded. Aoi no Okina passed me by, just as he was writing a verse for Akihito. One storm had yet to settle, and it was already time to write new poems. Hmm. The story says that after Sumizomi got the collection of poems from Akihito and put them into a stream of water, the plagiarized words in the poem became blurry. Huh? Why would that happen? You see, Paimon, in the past, when printing was not yet well developed, handwritten text could easily become smudged in books when exposed to moisture. Mm -hmm. To ensure the text lasted longer, They'd either write using a special ink, or coat the paper surface with a waterproof coating once the writing was finished. Such special inks are time-consuming and laborious to produce, and the waterproof coating could also prove just as difficult. However, since Akihito's poetry collection was an important gift to be presented to the Shogun, surely one of those two methods was used to protect it. But as for the plagiarized poems, not only would they lack Akihito's seal, but the words would also react differently when exposed to liquid. There's something going on with Ayaka's dialogue in this, like, I don't know if they had, like, a mic issue or it's something, yeah, it's when when sh they recorded the the text, but it's just so, I keep on hearing that it's either her her words against the mic or like some feedback right afterward but it's like it it's really grainy it kind of sticks out between all the others so this poem wasn't written by akihito it was added later by someone else <gasps> which means akihito didn't plagiarize his work he was set up just like Kazuha, except Kazuha wasn't really set up, I suppose. Yes, it appears that this is the truth that Sumizome's story is trying to convey. Mm. Although the story is saddening, I've decided on the subjects to use for Akihito and Sumizome's portraits. Kazuha and Ayaka. Makes sense. Everyone except Albedo is here, has been used for a, a portrait. Kazuha, Ayaka. Would you be willing to be the models for my paintings? I would be delighted. Oh, cute. Yes, as would I. There you go. The next two portraits should be ready in no time. <sighs> yes. And now that all four stories have all been collected, the story of the five Kassen is now fully completed. But what about the fifth Kassen? The one that nobody knew about, the, the black... Mm. Colored. I mean, the... The... Like, how they were all after... Different colors, like, one was... Scarlet, one was blue... And what about the, the black one? The... The the unknown, the mystery... Kossin. Long ago, Inazuma had five legendary poets. Mm. People bestowed upon them the title of the Five Kasen. One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenshukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. That figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual, under whose coercion Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic measures to retrieve a page of poetry. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance 
Akahito. Akahito had once belonged to the five Kasen. Each poem he composed, he marked with a scarlet red seal, hence the Aka in his name. Such a distinguished writer was he, and yet one of the poems he had submitted the previous year was found to be plagiarized. Akahito was exiled for his crimes, and only four of the five Kasen remained. Sumizome went over Akihito's poems and noticed that the plagiarized poem lacked his seal. She immersed his poetry in a stream nearby, and only on the plagiarized poem did the ink run. Aoi no Okina passed by and witnessed Sumizome's doing, which he then recorded in a poem. Thus transpired the events of Suiko's poetry submission, and this is where the story comes to an end. Hmm. Soon after, Albedo completes the two portraits. That was beautiful. Ayaka! Oh, and Kazuha! Oh, that's that's hmm. such a sad one. Hmm. Paimon, what's wrong? You seem upset. Ah, it is it. Kazuha's is so sad. G give him a. I mean, I guess the others weren't happy, really. But Fenty's and Shing Cho's looked looked more lighthearted. Yeah. Ever since we completed the story of the five Kasen, there's still one thing Paimon hasn't been able to figure out. One of the five Kasen is called Kurunushi, right? Yeah, what, what's going on with that guy? It's just that... How could the story of the five Kasen finish without him appearing at all? Oh. <laughs> oh have you really not noticed? <laughs> Notice what? <laughs> what he means is that the story of Kuronushi was already embedded within the four poems. The the one that coerced uh, 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 Aoi no Okina to to take the poem? Huh? Really? Paimon just thought that she was rid of Venti. She's like, what is he doing back here? I thought we were done with him. That's right. The key lies in the poem that Aoi no Okina wrote after seeing Sumizome rinsing the poetry collection. Hmm. An average person could never understand the scene of a young girl washing Akahito's poetry collection in a stream. Even Aoi no Okina couldn't figure out the meaning behind Sumizome's actions. He was simply reminiscing and thinking about his old acquaintances. However, for the perpetrator who framed Akahito, it was completely obvious. Oh. He was worried that if this poem was seen by the Shogun, then the Shogun could discover the truth behind the plagiarism incident. If that happened, then he'd be finished. So in desperation, he threatened Aoi no Okina to make him tear out this poem. Hmm. Which means, the one who threatened Aoi no Okina is the same person that framed Akahito! The culprit is none other than Kurunushi. What? Kurunushi? Uh, yeah, right. I guess. Though there are only four poems, they still manage to tell the complete story of all five Kasen. Hmm. Since the Shogun mentioned in the poems is certainly not the one of the five Kasen, the only character left is the mysterious one with an unknown identity. Since the Shogun mentioned in the poems is certainly not one of the five cons. Since the Shogun mentioned. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah. The only person that I can think of. Like all these. The characters that they chose as the models. It, like their colors coordinate with the 
the colors of the the coffin, but I don't really know anyone who's dressed in black for the the playable characters. The only one that I could think of is Scaramouche, who like I mean, we're not needing a model for the the fifth person, but if I had to like pick one, it would be Scaramouche. Interesting. Something seems Kazuha is thinking about something over here. Uh, he, he he's he he's onto something. Oh, okay. Paimon is finally starting to get it now. However, this also brings something else to mind. The story of the five Kasen has more or less reflected everything that's been happening around us lately. Mm hmm Which begs the question. Is there a Kuronushi in our world as well? Yeah, I, I, I would think so. But who, but... They're more or less like helping us with this, our problems. And less trying to, to frame us, I think. But if I was to pick a Kuronoshi, it would be uh, Skarmouche, which... I don't know if he's around. I haven't seen him in a while. I would hope that that'd be cool if he showed up, but I don't know. What what is Scaramouche's real name? I can't remember. It was it also starts with a K. But I can't remember what it is. A Kuronushi? In our world? Hmm, speaking of which, I wonder if our dear Kazuha has come up with anything. The only thing, like, realistic that I could see is, like, that they had Sayu, like, sneaking around and delivering the letters. But that also would not make sense, I don't think. Oh, right! Kazuha! He's been pretty quiet this whole time. Let's ask him! Tell us, honey! What? Oh! Ooh, this is... this is awkward. This is awkward. Let's just... let's just... fix that. His is so... His is so sad compared to the other. I mean, they're all kind of not happy, but... I don't know. It's interesting that these two are like, if you put them together, it would be a part of the same photo. And same thing with these two, that they are like continuations of the same photo. But, oh, there is a fifth one. I thought there was only four portraits. Uh, festivals always attract so many people. Yeah, what's up, Kazuha? Uh, can you... Sure you get in line early what's with the... What's with the fifth dream. portrait canvas? Hey, Kazuha! Are you okay? You've been standing in front of this blank canvas for a while, and you don't look so good. Apologies for making a wild assumption, but... Has the story of the five cousin reminded you of anything? Who, who, who framed you? Who framed you? Did someone frame you in, in real life, Kazuha? It's okay, you can tell me anything, honey. Yes. A few things did come to mind, actually. However, they were nothing more than some past incidents regarding my family. Hmm. Yeah, it wasn't Kazuha's family... He was from a wealthy household, like a well-known household, kind of like Ayaka's, but I think they lost their wealth or they, they went out of power for, for some reason. I can't remember. I don't mind sharing the stories, but I'd prefer not to bring you any more trouble. Hey, we're all friends here, Kazuha. You can always tell us whatever's on your mind. Yeah. Animo Archon right here. He he's all about the the sad boy times. Gave his Animo Animo vision a Animo buddies. He 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 understands. I understand too. I don't know about Paimon and and Shinkcho over here, but but I feel like Venti is is you guys are talking soul to soul right now. I mean, there's a reason why I gave you uh, the vision, right? Kaidehara, please forgive my assumption, but perhaps you were thinking of the ride in Gokuden? The ride in Gokuden? 
That's kind of interesting. She called him by his last name. Do, do, do you guys do you guys know each other? I mean, I mean his his, however, <laughs> Kaida Hera instead of Kazuha. Because uh, usually they don't do that. They just call them by their first name. But. Right in Gokuren? What's that? It appears that Miss Kamisato and I were thinking of the same thing. But it also has much to do with the Yashiro Commission. It would be improper to speak of it here without the consent of Miss Kamisato. It's fine. Those of us here are all trustworthy, so there isn't any harm in it. However, this matter is somewhat complicated and may be difficult to explain. Let me start with a ride in Gokuden. <sighs> As you all know, the Yashiro Commission's primary purpose is managing ceremonial and cultural affairs, and Inazuma's art of forging swords is a very important part of our culture. Right. The Raiden Gokuden were once the top five schools of the forging art in Inazuma. Although these families were swordsmiths by craft, they also held many important positions in the Yashiro Commission. Hmm. Were once the top five schools of the forging art in Inazuma. Swordsmiths by craft, they also held. Okay. Unfortunately, of the five, only the Aminelma art still maintains its artisan lineage. The descendants of the Ishin art are also still alive, but the craft has been lost to time. Uh, yeah, because that's the uh, uh, Aminoma smithy, right? The descendants of the Ishin art are none other than the Kaidehara family. Wow. Pretty impressive. Whoa! We knew Kazuha came from a noble family, but we had no idea about his connection to the Yashiro Commission and sword making. Yes, but that's all part of the past now. The Ishin art was lost with my great grandfather's generation. Hmm. My grandfather was dissatisfied with my great grandfather's lack of effort. When he was young, my grandfather traveled all over Tevat to find a way to revive the family business, but it was to no avail. And in my generation, our last remaining family property was lost as well. Hmm. I heard my elder brother mention that the decline of the ride in Gokuden happened very rapidly. In the span of a few decades, three of the families suffered various misfortunes and disappeared completely. Later, there was speculation that all of these misfortunes stemmed from some background machinations, meaning that someone wanted to wipe out the ride in Gokuden. Hmm. Why does this sound kind of familiar? Okay, I... I feel like this kind of... I've read some lore vi I've I've read some lore. Uh, I've watched some lore videos, and this is kind of ref reminiscent of what I of what I remember of Scaramouche's backstory. I know it's like uh, Scaramouche, but I mean it's it kind of really reminds me of. I feel like his backstory had something to do with the family that made made swords did the one of the sword arts so so i can't i can't really remember but i i feel like this sounds familiar however since not every family of the raiden gokuden came to ruin such explanations were treated as nothing more than a conspiracy theory hmm indeed I've also believed such ideas were just theories and rumors. However, I know that a major incident happened to my great-grandfather when he was young. Not only did it affect the Kaedahara clan, but it nearly jeopardized the Kamisato clan's position in the Yashiro Commission as well. Well, tell us, buddy. I'm all ears. After reading the story of the five Kasen, I can't help but feel like it's pointing me toward the truth behind that incident. What exactly happened to your great-grandfather, Kazuha? I still can't say. I need to speak with someone to verify the details. 
Let's meet here again at noon tomorrow. I will tell you everything I know then. Okay. Oh. All right. The palace died in black. I hope we're gonna uh, see, uh, yeah, a fifth. A fifth, uh, Kassen here. Uh, one of the, a uh, model. Interesting, interesting. Go forth, Golden Whirlwind. You will receive... You have received no commissions from Catherine, nor do you have an, any appointments with friends. And yet, in the darkness, a gold light leads you to a small island in the middle of the ocean. How strange. What in the world happened? Nice. Fun. And the floral courtyard. Ikebana. Nice. Moisa down for that. Awesome. So it looks like we are wait until the following afternoon. Okay. And we have this one, Festival Deeds. Something appears to have occurred in front of a uh, Ipikusu, the place where the statues of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narakami Agosho, a god of thunder are being sold. So, oh yes, and this one we get a reward. Oh, a gift from a certain someone. Wow. I'm hoping A, A bestows upon us this figure of her. I I mean, that's that's a great that's a great gift to to give to someone. Here, have this small statue of me to remember me by. I hope you treasure it always. I mean, I think that's what we should start doing. So, all right, let's get into this one. Talk to Kujo Sara. Of course, Kujo Sara, ultimate fangirl, is, is in on this. She, we are battling her for these A statues. I totally, uh, oh, these are also the other events that we have to test out today. Uh, hopefully after we finish out some of this content. I think that's something that we really have to get into as well. So, yeah, let's uh, let's go go see what's going on over here. Uh, cold beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it. There is nothing like it, Beto. <sighs> this is sparkling blackberry, but similar, similar to a cold beer. All right, Kujo Sara, we're, we're coming for you. Yeah, we got to start in on this, some of these event stuff because I am way behind on that. At least I'm not leaving it till the last day. This time I have like a little fur or a fuzz or something. Okay. Oh, it even lights it up in the sky. This is this is where we're going. It is kind of an odd feeling because the last time that I was kind of not rushing to get an event done, but I mean, last time I was rushing to get it done, but we were I was working on the Lantern Rite Festival and it was right before I was going to go see a show. And today is the exact same setup really i am gonna go see hamilton tonight and i'm so excited about that oh hey hey what's up hey kujasara uh what's going on okay you she's probably sending out they probably ran out of the figurines and she's like scouts everyone spread out we need to find these Raiden Shogun figurines because I need one in my collection. I have all the other figurines that they've had at the other festivals, but I need this one. Why did I kind of take an A approach to that? You will be inlaid upon my mini figurine. She, Kujo Sara is more like, man, uh, I, I can't even do. Men, stand down. Why do I always go to like the Raiden Shogun? Not enunciation, but like, sp there's a word for it, like a spacing of your t tone, tonality. 
<laughs> is that it? No, I don't know. I started off strong. The Five Kassen Plaza is significantly less crowded now, but it's still too early to relax. This is a serious matter, and we must remain vigilant. Is that clear? We must remain vigilant in collecting these statues of the Almighty Shogun. I have a body pillow. I have a uh, a water water bottle holder. I have a cosplay, but I don't have the limited edition Shogun figurine. So we must stay vigilant, men. Yeah, yeah, Kujasara. Yes, ma'am. Ready, ready to take orders on this. Hey, Sarah. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's you. Do you have something to report? <laughs> uh, no, nothing to report. Oh, about the stolen books. Oh, yeah, yeah, we 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 did talk to her about the stolen books. Uh, yeah, it's all solved. We figured it out. Oh, yeah, she was there. I forgot. Okay, nothing to report. Really? Good. Yep. The Tenryo Commission has a responsibility to ensure public order and security during the Iridori Festival. If anything comes up, come to me. All right, will do. Oh, you look really busy. Has something serious happened? Actually, I do have something to report. There was a very suspicious Oni yesterday hogging the Tanuki board. I think you should have really checked that out. Uh, we handled it. But I think your your presence could have really helped the situation in, in resolving that matter. Uh, if you had some beans, maybe that would have been like extra right on the money. But uh, but no, we 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 figured it out. Oh, no, he did. Get, <laughs> he did have an allergic reaction. I forgot. Oh, I was just messing around. Nothing serious, really. We've just received a lot of reports in the past few days over things like line cutting, reselling goods at inflated prices. Hmm. Classic convention. Tactics. Ta themes. Occurrences. Even troublemakers hogging the photo board. All minor incidents. But it all adds up to create a lot of work for a lot of people. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, yeah, that, you caught wind of that, huh? Sounds tough. Still. I take the fact that so many people are turning to us for assistance as a sign that the Tenryo Commission is gradually regaining the people's trust. True. True. Uh, I was helping out. What? What? What is his name? Uh, Kamaji. We were hanging. We were hanging out with Kamaji not that long ago. Kind of broke up a wedding, but kind of, kind of sad about it still. But you know, you know, it's fine. It was it was for the best. It was for the best. Shogun gave us orders to provide security at the Iridori Festival. This is a rare chance to change people's perception of the Tenryo Commission. So we cannot afford to slip up. Even if it's tiring work, we must rise to the challenge. Well, no matter how busy you are, at least you still found some time to come here and buy an <laughs> almighty Shogun figurine, right? We want to buy one too! Yeah, yeah, you know she's already on it. She's like, I've been looking at that figurine all day. It's the only one I don't have in my collection. It's going right next to my signed fan art of the Shogun. Where is it? Where, where is she? I, I guess she's not... Are we, is she still using the Raiden Shogun? Or is... What's the Raiden Shogun doing? Is she, is she still around or is she still in Makoto's uh, the plane of consciousness? So, is, yeah, where's A? What do you mean, figurine? <clears throat> I'm just patrolling these parts. In fact, I was just about to leave. Oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you weren't waiting for the special discount. You weren't waiting for... All week for this, Sara? Right, right. <laughs> no need to be shy. Actually, Miko told us that you got up super early this one time to make sure you could be the first in line to buy one of these figurines. I love that this is... <laughs> I love that this is canon, that she's the ultimate fangirl of the Shogun. 
That Lady Gucci, how could she disclose? <sighs> Never mind. Mm. To be clear, I have no intention to hide that which I do out of reverence alone. Mm. But there is one thing you must be corrected on. Oh, what is it? That is not a figurine. <laughs> it's a statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder. Do I make myself clear? Mmm. Mmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. I. I. She sounds just like. She sounds too much like. In. She sounds too much like a. Like an anime fan, like a, a weeb defending their prized Nami f figurine. It's not, it's not just a figurine. It's, the presentation is special. It's in mint condition. The packaging has never been opened, okay? So. Almighty Naru, Narukami Ogu, I got it. Yep. This is like me explaining Genshin Impact to my parents, <laughs> to my sister. It's like, yeah, so they're in the land of Tevat, and so there's gods running around ruling these seven nations, and and basically we are 500-year-old aliens that have come here, and we're, we have a traveling companion in Paimon, and we're helping out the gods and visiting all these people. I explained the story of uh, uh, Ayato's quest to my mom the other day, and she's like, how... How did you pick up all this from, from from playing your game? Like, how did you get all of this? How do you know all this history and intricate stuff about these characters just from playing for a couple hours? I'm like, oh, mom, it was not just a couple hours. We already met. Uh, what's her face? What's her face? The girl, Kamaji. I thought of Kamaji, but I, his his girlfriend. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Tenryo Commission, Kanjo Commission. So it's it's the anyway. Kamaji's girlfriend. I can't remember her name. I was like, oh no, mom. We already helped her out. We basically set them up. We delivered a letter for her one time, and it basically got us out of uh, Rito when the the. Uh, Sokoku decree was still going on and so we basically she helped us get out of Rito and then we delivered a letter for her so we basically set this up so I was explaining all these like little intricacies in their relationship and she's like oh that's that's great honey that's great so yeah th this is what this reminds me of this particular statue of her excellency the almighty Narukami Agosho god of thunder is a brand new addition there will only be 300 available in this batch, and there is a limit of one per customer. Oh no, it's exactly like I said. Oh, I was, I was, I was joking around. I, I was exaggerating for the good times, for the fun vibes, for the, for the, for the memes, uh, Sarah. So uh, you didn't need to go this far in like, Confirming everything I said, but okay, Greg. Nice. I'm glad. Hopefully, y you already got yours then? Many people have been lining up since well before dawn to acquire one. I'm afraid if you're only showing up now, you're probably too late. Oh, really? So, so you definitely must have gotten here pretty early too then. Did you manage to get one yet? I mean, there's no line. I. Let's be real. Uh. Hoyoverse, at least make like a line so we can believe <laughs> so we can believe this. OK, uh, I've walked past here over 10 times since this festival started and this place has been deserted every time. So uh, you can't you can't make me believe that they're all sold out just like the drinks for Ito, the poor guy. It's like no one is standing to get their sailing breeze. Specialty drink with from Pretty Please Kitsune Gucci. <laughs> so, so don't try to pull this, okay? Like, at least make like a line or something. 
Normally, of course, I would come to purchase one myself. But on this occasion, my duties at the Iridori Festival had to take priority. Oh, so you didn't get one, honey? We are required to report for duty long before the shops open. It is regrettable, but I had no choice but to forego the chance this time. I mean, I mean, they got one, two, three, four, five left. Can't, can't you spare one, lady? Can't you spare one of the displays for our girl Sara over here? Aw, what a shame. So instead, I had someone purchase one on my behalf. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, not surprised. Okay. Mm-hmm. I believe it. Oh, right! Wait, you can do that? <laughs> Whenever she can't stand in line to get her A figurines, she just has one of the, the Doshin do it. One of the, the other Tenryo Commission uh, lackeys. Didn't you say they're limited to one per customer? This figurine is super popular. It must be pretty tough to find someone happy to buy one for you and not for themselves. I anticipated the same at first, but Lady Gujiyae found a professional to assist me, saying she appreciated our tireless efforts during the festival period. A professional? What professional? What are they a professional in? Yai? You, you just gotta go stand in line. People, people are paid to do this all the time. You just gotta go stand in line, you hand the money, you get the thing, you deliver it to Sara. What is the professional? Don't tell me Sayu did this for you. As soon as it's professional, it's like, oh, Sayu. Yai, I don't know why that is making the connection, but it just, it, I wouldn't say Sayu was a professional at doing this, so. Uh, what are what are they exactly a professional in? I don't know who the professional is. I assume it would be either someone from the Grand Narukami Shrine or from the Yashiro Commission. But I did not ask. Given the time, I believe they should have completed the purchase by now. I am fortunate to have had Lady Guji's help this time. I likely would have struggled to find a candidate on my own. I What I like about this event is that... It really brings into context like these characters, at least for the Inazuma characters, their relationships with each other, because a lot of the times it feels very like. I mean, with the quest that we have, it only has a couple characters in it at a time. So like Ayato, I mean, even Ayaka wasn't in his story quest. I mean, it was mostly just him interacting with people and everything like that. I mean, it had recurring characters, but Oftentimes, it's kind of like this playable characters standing on their own and interacting with NPCs, and they're kind of broken off from the other playable characters. So it's it's nice to see in more of a casual sense how these characters interact on a day to day basis, like with Sara and Yai or like Ayato and Yai and uh, A and Yai. I mean, those are they kind of like pair them off together and it it makes sense, but um, but it's it's nice to see how these characters interact on a more uh, basic level uh, all together. You can see kind of a bigger picture of Inazuma with how these uh, people interact. My question is, is Kokomi and Goro coming to the festival? Because I feel like they should take a break. See the sights. I mean, they were kind of at war recently, but she can come get a signed copy of Shing Cho's book. And Goro can, can, what is Goro like? Oh, he would, ooh, Goro it, it would not want to come to this festival. This go, this festival has Lady Yai, Yai Miko all over it. And Goro is not about that. He, I mean, he, maybe he could come like check in. They could have a booth about his column. Except, and then he'd be like off behind a tree, like, oh, is, is the booth doing good? But then he'd also try to avoid Yai at the same time. So I don't know if that would really work out in his favor. But I am curious if they'll, they'll show up. As well as being willing, they would need to be an early riser and also tall enough to beat the crowds to the top shelf items. Ooh, uh, then Sayu is not, 
not a good call. Early riser and tall. Toma? <laughs> I mean, he's the only one that's like can be sent out. Toma? I guess uh, Ayato, but I don't think he's going to take this job on for. Oh, no, these were no, these were Sara's qualifications. If you think the opposite of what these qualifications are. Uh huh. Yeah, I that's what she wanted. That is not what she got. What? Hmm? what was that sound? Probably just, you know, the wind, Animo, the leaves, a little, little tail, a wandering by. Really? Well, never mind. I have been here long enough. It's time for me to head to my next patrol zone. <gasps> Stay safe during the Iridori Festival. Thanks. Th thanks, Sara. Thanks. Sayu. Why is this an I identical replica of Wintrace? Like if you were Sayu during Wintrace, this is this is it. Sayu, what are you? All right, all right. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Hey. What what are you what are you doing, honey? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh-oh. You found me. Yeah. Yeah, it, w it wasn't a, a great hiding spot. I could do better in Wintray Sayu. This is where I got the the title of Master Baiter. The ultimate Master Baiter. It was here, Sayu, so... Uh, you gotta do more to fool me than that. Sayu, what are you doing here? Oh... Are you the professional? And what are you a professional at, Sayu? I mean, I get it. You're ninjutsu, shimatsuban, but waiting in line. Mm, I mean, we could have done that. A Paimon could have done that. Shh, quiet. She might still be in earshot. <laughs> Sayu, have you been slacking off again? Did you not get the figurine? No way. I've been here since last night so I could buy a figurine. But after waiting and waiting, my eyes started to feel real droopy. And... I only meant to take a short nap. A really quick one. In short, you overslept. Oh, If I don't buy one of these figurines, the Tenryu Commission Tangle will lock me up for life. Surely not. But... I mean... Mmm, I don't know. Don't mess with a fangirl. Don't mess with a fangirl and their prized merch. So, so I would, I would be kind of scared, honestly, but surely not. No. Sheesh. Goodness knows what Miko told you. I guess my only hope now is to sacrifice my salary for this month and buy one off of someone who got here in time. Uh, let me negotiate the price for you. I, I'm good at driving a hard bargain. I'm sure one of these people can part with their beloved statue of the... What, 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 did, what did Sara call it? Narukami Raiden Shogun Narukami Agosho God of Thunder, etc. Something like that. Really? Great! Then, here's my salary. Please don't spend it all. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try, honey. Oh, are we gonna actually bargain with- Uh... Man, they- they- It's kinda... Do I love the... 
the sneaking around, like trying to hide from different people, like the the one like if you where you get caught, where they have the little eyeball uh, over their head. Do I love that? Is wonderful. No. Do I Surely love the marketing? No. But it is reminiscent of. It's like they're keeping with the. They are like we are keeping with these mechanics in our quests and we're taking it all the way home so it's kind of like it it, it kind of feels good it when it's reminiscent of like the leeway archon quest that we went through and the monstat we're we're incorporating things from the beginning of the game we're still keeping them around so uh kind of feels good sometimes hey hey rika uh i'm gonna need some why does this sound for kind of familiar? What was, uh... Yuta's? Is that why I'm thinking of it? Uh, the... Zero? Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie? Is her name Rika? Not spelled like this, but... Kinda, kinda looked a, a little different too, I mean... Huh, you didn't manage to get one either? That's strange. When I came to line up this morning, I checked with my friend who'd already bought one. She'd been lining up since before sunrise, and she was around the 100th in line. I was only 150 places behind her, so surely I should have gotten one. Uh-huh. Hmm, something's wrong here. I'm gonna go ask the shopkeeper for an explanation. Yeah, because they said there was 300, right? You were... you were 250? <laughs> <laughs> Cutting it a little close there, Rika. Uh... Junpei? Are they purposely doing this? They're not... They're not... Purposely doing this, right? Okay. Okay, there's also a Rika over there. So... Rika? Maybe that was more appropriate, Raika. There's Rika over there. No, oh, no, this kind of this kind of sus. Hey, hey, Junpei. You doing okay, man? <laughs> Why so glum? Didn't manage to get your hands on a statue of her excellency, the Almighty Narukamiya Gosho, God of Thunder, by any chance? Ah, uh, yep. That 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 that's. What I was going for? No, Junpei, you, you can, can you help me out with that one? Sell it? Huh. I ain't selling. Not after all the effort I put in to get a hold of this. Go ask someone else. All right, all right, fine, Junpei. Good luck to you, sir. Good luck with your, uh... With, uh, Mahito. Mahito. Bye. Where's the other one? Oh, hey. Hey, Conrad. Okay, it wasn't It wasn't a trend. It wasn't a... It wasn't a trend. It was just a coincidence. Okay. Good Good times. Conrad? <sighs> After coming all this way to Inazuma, and especially getting up early, I still walk away empty-handed. Hmm. The first batch was smaller than I expected. And who knows when the next batch will come out? I see. So... So... They didn't actually make 300? Well, since I'm here now, I guess I should buy some other souvenir instead. Okay. You ask around in, in the area, but to no avail. I can't believe it. I am definitely done for this time. Oh, it's okay, Sayu. It's okay, Lily Pichu. A whole load of people are saying they didn't manage to get one. Did the shopkeepers get the count wrong or something? Hmm. Oh, why don't we go ask at a Pekasu? Okay, sounds good. Mm, might as well. I guess there's nothing to lose. Maybe someone is hoarding them. A fan gone rogue. Bought more than one per person. Festivals always have so many people. Ugh. Oh, everyone, everyone's trying to get in with the, the shopkeeper. Terribly sorry. I was otherwise occupied this morning and had someone else watch the shop. Oh. So I don't know all the details, but according to our records, we did sell the full 300. 
Kaede? Kind of sound familiar. They didn't make the person that's selling a uh, Raiden Shogun statues voiced by voiced by a A's voice actor, right? They didn't they didn't do that. <laughs> no. No. Hey, what about those ones at the back? Aren't they for sale? These are displays. People are. That's what shopkeepers are always so sensitive about. It's they're uh, they're for display. They are not for sale. I'm sorry. Those are those are display only. You're saving them for yourself, aren't you, honey? Though 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 you're you're securing those for yourself. Please don't be too disappointed. We're only selling a limited number of these statues at the festival, and this was only the first batch. Please rest assured, you will all have the chance to purchase one in the future. Hmm. I don't believe it. They're display only. I don't believe it for a second. But when will the next batch be ready? Also, this poor guy came all the way from Mondstadt. He got here earlier than me and was at least 50 places ahead of me. No, oh, poor guy. Nah. Uh, his his time at the convention isn't going so hot. <laughs> his time at the festival. <laughs> no, that's that's disappointing. Man, he must be a really big Raiden Shogun fan. Didn't know that she had accrued so many. So so many. Uh, patrons, fans. It's, it's, it's like how she Inazuma's been on lockdown for forever. How do you even hurt uh, hear of her? Even he didn't get one. How do you explain these numbers? Who's in charge of the shop this morning? Just let's cut to the chase. Who was in charge of the shop? We got uh, we got uh, a f angry fangirl that could possibly arrest us. Uh, we got her waiting. So look, I don't know a whole lot about Inazuma festivals, but they do seem to have sold out pretty quickly. Yeah. Conrad's never coming back to Inazuma again. I'm terribly sorry, but I've triple checked the sales records for this morning and everything seems to be accounted for. Hmm. Why don't we get the Tenryo Commission to investigate this? Ruh -roh. The, the Tenryo Commission? No, no way. Hmm? Sorry, who are you? This is the uh, professional. <laughs> The, the professional uh, stander in line er, from the Yashiro Commission. Oh, are you saying this falls under the Yashiro Commission's jurisdiction? Ooh, no, no, Rika, that re 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 Rika, that is not what I was saying. Um, um, yeah, it does. We will follow up on this matter, so... So there's no need to go to the Tenryu Commission. They're busy enough as it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sayu's uh, facial expressions. Uh, I think they added more variety or the animation is a little bit different, but I think it looks... Uh, I like what they're doing here better than uh, what they did for the original Archon Quest. Maybe it was different with her, her hangout event. I'm not quite sure. That's weird. How come Sayu's so motivated to work all of a sudden? Shh. If the Tenryo Commission finds out about this, Kujo Sarah will come ask me about it. And then, she'll find out that I didn't buy her figurine. And... Sayu is supposed to be Miko's handpicked professional. She technically should have been the first in line. Yeah, that's true. A anyway... We can't get the Tenryo Commission involved. Not unless there's no other way. <laughs> okay. Huh. Well, since someone's already on the case, I suppose I'll just wait for the findings. Goodness, she's getting a little... a little grumpy about this. Okay, okay, just settle down. We'll, we'll get on the case. <sighs> since I came all this way and didn't get a figurine, I guess I might as well look at what else is available. Wow, okay. Nah, that sounded kind of passive aggressive. You guys, <sighs> this is what happens with fans, with fan girls and 
boys and people fans. Everyone gets a little just too intense. OK, just settle down <laughs> and settle down. Thank you both for your understanding. We will make an announcement as soon as the results of the investigation come out. Hmm. So we're supposed to be investigating, but we don't have any leads at all. Oh, maybe the customers really did make a mistake with the count. If only we had a witness who'd been here the whole time. Technically, someone was here the whole time. You mean me? Sorry, I was asleep. Did you hear anything in your sleep? That's pretty impressive if you did. Because I I'm out like a like a light when I'm sleeping. Did I hear anything? Uh, let me think. <sighs> I'll take these, please. Oh, Conrad went, went with something else. Thank you for your patronage. Please come again. Thank you, patronage. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. I heard thank you for your patronage over and over again this morning. Okay. Huh? How many times? 300? Uh, I mean, I... You don't have to give an exact number. Roughly how long did each transaction take? Um... 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 I got it! There were at least 16 snores between each thank you for your patronage. Okay. That's not how you count it! 16 snores should be about one minute. And if we add on the time for moving the boxes and stocking the shelves... Mm... It should take at least five hours to sell everything. Right! Sales only started about four hours ago, so there's definitely a problem with the amount. Okay. But, which means, even though I only woke up just now, I still have a chance of getting my hands on one. Maybe. A minuscule chance, but yes, you're not wrong. We need to find the person that was a uh, man in the store. Well, anyway, maybe I failed my mission because a bad guy did something tricky. Not because I was being lazy. Right, right. That was it. Uh-huh. We, we, you just let him get away. That, that, that's it. So then, who's the bad guy? Hmm. Well, the shop was pretty strict with this promotion. Not only was there a one per customer limit, they even checked people's identity. So there's no way anyone could have bought more than one. No wonder each transa uh, transaction took so long. And with SARS people patrolling the area, no one could have cut the line, right? By process of elimination... The remaining option is the store itself. If someone was up to no good, they definitely try to find a way to sell the figurines at a higher price. Let's go ask the guy who says he had to put in a lot of effort to get a hold of one. Maybe he knows something. Okay. Junpei, I'm back. Hopefully you're a little nicer this time. Huh? You want to know how I got my hands on this statue? <laughs> Dream on! Oh, fess up, Junpei. The jig's up. Huh? Why? It's not like we're trying to buy yours off you! It's a no, okay? No more questions. Nah, he, he, something's, something's smelling fishy here. Huh? How come? A staff member sold it to you. How, how did you know? We're professionals, Junpei. Can't hide anything from me. Sayu's a professional sleeper. Paimon's a professional eater. And I'm a professional listener, so... Huh? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, we are professionals. <laughs> nice. Okay, fine. Since you guessed it anyway. But let me be clear. Don't spread this around. I came here bright and early to line up. But the first batch of statues sold out almost immediately. I wasn't very happy about that. So, I went around to the back door of a Pekasu to see if I could find a shop assistant to ask about when the next batch would be coming out. Hmm. To my surprise, I saw him moving boxes and boxes worth of statues out of the store. Needless to say, I was all ready to march up and demand to know what was going on. But... 
He gave you a figurine to keep you quiet. Well, uh, yes. Uh, but I paid the shop assistant full price for it, so it was still a legitimate transaction. Mm -hmm. It's not for you to decide whether it was a legitimate transaction or not. Oh. <laughs> uh. Ooh, you heard that, Sara? I. Mm, we were we were just confirming something. We we definitely got your figurine, right? This guy has it. Huh? It's the Tenryo Commission. The Tenryo Commission has received reports that someone has been hoarding goods to resell at extortionate prices. Now, these are not classed as strategic materials, so some amount of price fluctuation is expected in the market. However, it is against the law for a staff member to abuse their position to forge sales records and misappropriate goods. Yeah! What she said. We have already investigated the situation at a pay kasu. The sales records are correct, but in the cash box, there are two bags in which most of the cash has been replaced with stones. Hmm. But, but how can this be? Please hand over your statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, <laughs> God of Thunder, as evidence. We will compensate you for your loss once we catch the individual responsible. Oh, honey, honey, that that's that's a little sus. Uh, of course, she said the entire name. Please hand over your statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Gosho, God of Thunder. I would really like it in my collection, and I'm not about to lose this opportunity. So hand it over, good sir. Yeah, we'll compensate you, my guy. She won't she won't lock you up and be on the good side of Sara. She, she really wants that figurine, man. Ah, uh, fine. So this guy was cooking the books. Never saw that coming. Junpei hands over the statue. You guys figured this out pretty quickly, Sara. Yeah. Did you already know that or did you just figure that out? In fact, we were only just tipped off. We're still working on the logistics of the arrest operation. Hmm? Who's this? Ooh, uh... Uh... <laughs> if she's a friend, she's she's a friend of Ayato and, and Toma and Ayaka? Yikes! I've been spotted! This is Sayu. Oh, you must be the professional Lady Guji hired. Ooh. I was just wondering why I hadn't seen you yet. Uh... <laughs> um, we... we were investigating the missing figurines. Oh, I mean, statues of Her <laughs> Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder. Yeah, yeah, don't tick her off even more, Sayu. Is that so? Then thank you. The Tenryo Commission will take over from here. Rest assured, we will get to the bottom of the matter. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh... Hmm? Um, um, so, uh, about your statue... Sayu has been lining up since last night. Really? Thank you. So, where is the statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder? But she saw someone misappropriating the statues! Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Sayu spent the whole night investigating the staff. So, by the time she got back, she was just too late to buy one. Yeah, right. I definitely would have made it back in time to <laughs> buy one if only it hadn't been for someone stealing the statues. Yeah, that that's what happened. I see. So in the end, you did not manage to purchase a statue, correct? Ooh, is that the only part you heard? We'll get him, Sara. We'll get him. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh no, it, no, it's okay, Sayu. Sayu, sh stop, stop crying, stop. Okay. Don't blame yourself. The criminal is the one responsible here. The important thing now is to devise a plan to bring him to justice as swiftly as possible. Mm-hmm. 
According to the intelligence, the suspect has already started reselling the statues near the festival venue. But he is lying low and operating very discreetly. Nah, so we should do an undercover job. Do a stakeout, maybe? I can go in disguise. I'm really good at... At, uh... <laughs> Laying low, you know, I, I, I do. I definitely don't stand out with my otherworldly dress or anything. If we confront him head on, he's likely to destroy the evidence and dash. Instead, we will seek to quietly surround him. But in order to achieve this, we will require one person to approach and distract him. Hmm. I vote Paimon. Since you've spent the whole night thoroughly investigating this situation, I can think of no one else more suitable to gain his trust than you. Mm. Would you be willing to help the Tenryo Commission one final time? You talking to me or Sayu? What? Uh, <laughs> right. Leave it to us. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, where where are we headed? All right, we we can do it. We can get to the bottom of this. Kazuha said he would wait for us at the Five Kasum Plaza today. Let's go find him there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm kind of busy right now with Paimon. Just just settle down. Pretend to be a potential buyer and stall for time. Okay. Just let me let me let me restart. I need to pardon me. Pardon me. Okay. One one second. Just need to walk in here all casual like. Uh mm, you kinda look kinda I don't know if you all look very <laughs> Kazuha. It's like you I am on my way to a mission. No one can stop me. Okay, let's let's try with the traveler instead, okay? Uh we're gonna go mm, traveler, okay. Just what will we come across this time? Nice. Good job, honey. Alright. Yep, this is this is the way. Alright, let me just get prepared. Mmm, you don't look that casual either, Aether, but no. Just play cool. Walk up. Hey, hey, my guy. What's up? S Sago? S Saigo? I li I'd like to buy some some merchandise. Some goods. Hmm? Who introduced you? I'm trying to keep a low profile here, so I'm afraid I don't take any new business except for referrals by existing customers. We were referred by the one who caught you stealing the statues. Ah, uh, yeah, Junpei. Junpei has the inside deets. That guy. Fine. He did technically buy from me, I suppose. But let me be clear. This product is highly sought after right now. I can't sell to you at the same price he paid. Hmm. The price has gone up again? But it's only been a few hours! <laughs> well, you can take it or leave it. Believe me, there's plenty more room for upwards mobility on the price. It just so happens to be in my interest to get these off my hands sooner rather than later. Besides, <laughs> good luck trying to find anyone else out there selling. Okay, true enough, true enough. Uh... Hmm... We gotta keep negotiating as long as we can. Will this figurine keep its value over time? Can you give me a little discount? I don't have time for this. Just name your price. Oh. Uh. You're supposed to be negotiating for a while, right? Okay, uh. To 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 to, oh, I, I, why can't it pick an even number? Uh, 
no, no, 6064, no, I just want, can I, oh, I can type in here. Okay. We will give you 200,000. Dang. Okay. We will give you 140. Oh, I can't do, use commas. Okay. 140,000 Mora for, for the figurine, sir. I think that is a fair, acceptable price. Hey, at that price, why don't you just ask me to give it to you for free? Okay, okay, uh, ha ha ha. Hmm. What about, what about... S 160,000 Mora. I, I understand you low quantity, high price. Uh, they, you're the only one selling them. I understand. I can understand. But we have to be reasonable, sir. We have to, we have to uh, know what is, what is a, a, a good deal and what is, a, I, I give up. Okay, uh, 160,000, Mora. Deal. Let's schedule a time for you to pick up the product. I, I knew it, guys. Whew. I knew it. Got to steal. Uh, kind of. Hold on. Paimon thinks that the price is still a little too high. What? You think that's high? <laughs> It'll be at least double that in a few days. I'm not. We're done negotiating, Paimon. Actually, we could have stalled for more time. I I stalled for time enough. You think this is a game or something? If you're not serious about buying, quit wasting my time. I should be moving on to my next location by now. Not stuck here arguing with you. The next location you move to will be the police station. <laughs> you are under arrest for abusing your position for personal gain and falsifying accounts. Do not attempt to resist. The evidence is indisputable. <laughs> gotcha, sucker. The Tenryo Commission? When did you... Wait, all that negotiating. Whoa. Uh, what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Stick him up! Stick him up! You... Crazy! <laughs> Tenry Commission escorts the shop assistant back to the police Thank station. You for your help. <laughs> the culprit has revealed the location where he stashed the statues, and we have sent people to collect them. Nice. Can you, you gonna get one of those for yourself, Sara? Great! So once Epekusu has counted the goods and stuffed the shelves, we can get back in the line to buy one, right? This time, I must complete my mission. We got it, Sayu. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The stolen goods will have to be kept as evidence at the police station for some time. They will not be available for purchase in the immediate future. But you can, you can still get your hands on one, right, Sara? I mean, I feel like, I feel like you would go through the effort. You would, you would do that. Paimon can't believe it. I would be grateful if you could inform the shopkeeper about this. I should return to the station and see how things are going. Hmm. Although Sara didn't say anything. She seemed a little disappointed, don't you think? Oh, Is there really nothing we can do? Dang. Uh, what was it saying? The quest location is involved in... In... I charge a higher rate to meet out The next quest? The quest location is currently involved in other quests? I don't want... Why? Why must you do this to me? All right, now that that's fixed, we can do that. We're finishing off this guy. I see. Uh, thank you. We'll make a compensation plan and announce it as soon as possible. Okay. Well, 
See you then. You're still not gonna give me one of the... Let me buy one of these for, for Sara. You got one, two, three, four, five. There's another one hiding over here. I didn't see earlier. You got six statues, lady. Wait, hold on. Although this statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, was only intended as a display item. Yes. Now that I think about it, why don't you have it as a gesture of my gratitude? Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to ask me twice. After all, it was our negligence that caused trouble for you all on this occasion. This is just a small gift, a mere token, but I do hope you can accept it. R really? Shall we give this to Sara? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Sounds good. As long as we give this to Sara, my mission will be completed. Uh-oh... I've been so nervous all day, and now I can finally relax. I feel really tired all of a sudden. All right, Sayu. All right. Please, take this figurine to the police station. <sighs> Sayu, signing out. Okay, okay. Just go find a bed or something before you conk out. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. One second. Let's just look at it before we give it to Sara. Oh, the statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder that Sara has been hankering after. Go on, go give it to her. Okay, fine, fine. Oh, there's Sara. Hey. Hey, Sara. We have made your fan dreams come true. Sarah, look what we brought you. Oh, is this? Yes, yes. I accept hugs, uh, handshakes, high fives. Any of those uh, work as as uh, as. <laughs> Uh, payment, compensation, uh, morale boost. We'll take out the statue and explain what happened. We just grabbed it and came straight here. But now that Paimon takes a closer look at it, it's really well made. Yeah, it's even got our little, little braid back here. Of course. This is a prototype designed by Yae Publishing House's top artist and crafted by the most skilled lacquerware master in Inazuma City. Wow. Otherwise, how could one hope to capture even one thousandth of the almighty Shogun's majesty? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, this is kind of awkward. Uh, Sara, 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 don't. Don't turn around. No, don't turn around now, but... Oh, actually, no, no. Go ahead, fangirl. Fangirl out. Tell me how much you love A, the, the Raiden Shogun. Let alone maintain it. To do that, you must buy a special kind of shrine and worship it properly. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, it's kind of... Uh, kind of cringe, but, you know. It's also essential to clean it often to avoid a buildup of dust. And it's best practice to hire a craftsman to perform regular maintenance. Oh, wow, she's going all out on that one. Sara! Sara! Hmm? What's wrong? These are the five principles for maintenance of the statue of Her Excellency, the almighty <laughs> Narukami Agosha, God of Thunder. And I haven't even finished explaining the first one. Uh... I mean, it looks like A is fascinated with, with, with your... The five principles of maintaining the statue. A probably wants figurine. What, what does she think of these? I never knew there was such a fuss over these tiny figurines. <laughs> I'm surprised Miko never mentioned it to me. Y Your Excellency, this is most unexpected. <laughs> I had some spare time, so I decided to come out for a stroll. Oh, did you buy this figurine yourself? <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, 
no, no. I mean, yes. Maybe? I, it's, it was, it was him. Right, yeah, I bought it, eh? I bought it because I, I love you so, so much. I'm your biggest fan. Hey, what? Yep, it was me. Huh. Oh, I didn't know you liked little trinkets like these. Yeah, yeah, more the merrier. Put them in my teapot. Hey, just, just look at them from time to time. I don't get to see you enough, eh? Just need a little reminder now and then. I could give you one of me. This is what I'm saying. We should do, start doing this. Here is a statue of my likeness. Look at it and peruse at your leisure. I mean, put it on your little, your plane of euthymia. Might spruce things up a little bit. Your Excellency, I've yet to finish the defense arrangements for the Iridori Festival. Please excuse me. Very well, thank you. Pardon me, Your Excellency. I, I'll just be taking this, this, the, the statue, the figurine, uh, with me. Uh, I also have to add it to my my body pillow collection and and fan art and fan fiction. What? Um, no, hmm, <clears throat> not a cosplay. Definitely not a cosplay. All right, good day. Sarah leaves, her head lowered. Oh, poor girl. Watching Sarah leave, she looked kind of sad. I know, she was... She pretended not to be a fan when she was. That... That would make any fan sad. I have another such figurine in Tenshukaku. A sample <gasps> sent by Yai Publishing House. I don't need it, so I think I'll gift it to you. Uh, but we already have one. She knows it's Sara's. She knows. This is kind of like... I was watching... I don't know if anyone's really into... To K-dramas, but... I was watching... Uh, what is it called? Her, her private life. Uh, uh, where she, she's a, she's a fan of the, one of the K-pop, uh, boy groups or w one certain, one particular K-pop member. And she's always like, oh, I pretended to be a fan. I, I, I pretended not to be a fan when I really was, and it hurt me so much on the inside. It kind of reminds me of that. Uh, but we already have one. I shall not go back on my word. I have committed to giving it to you. What you choose to do with it is your business. You're quite free to give it to somebody else, if you wish. <laughs> she knows. She knows. Oh, that's that's sweet, eh? That's that's sweet. What are you, what are you doing during the festival? You want to come eat some... Drink some Dongo milk with us. I, I, I hear they got boba now for somewhere. Ayato has his. Maybe you'd like that. Come hang around. Uh, meet meet some people from from the different nations. You seen Venti while he's here? Or to save you the trouble, I can have someone from Tenshukaku deliver it directly. But of course, your name will have to be written as the sender. Paimon, no more questions. <clears throat> Just send it to the Tenryo Commission, please. Uh, put me as the sender. Good. I'll have someone attend to this shortly. Okay. <laughs> oh, and I wish you a pleasant and enjoyable Irodori Festival. Thank you, A. Oh, cute. Y you wa you want to hang out with us later, honey? Oh, <laughs> so we get to keep one. Sara gets her f her figurine. It's all good. Nice.